Welcome back. We're going to play another chess tournament. It's been like two or three weeks since the last one of these. At least that I remember. Hey, Stefan. Yay. Ah. <laughs> oh, all right. He's going to withdraw the first round, probably to have dinner or something. That's totally fair. I didn't understand, like, this tournament is limited to members of this team, and it's also password locked. So that's pretty funny. No berserk allowed, no arena streaks, no Ten, fun of any kind. Nine, eight, seven, six, At least five, we're doing arena tournaments, four, so, three, like... Two. We'll One, continue getting, zero. we'll get continuous pairings as long as games keep finishing and players continue wanting to play games. Um, okay, we're going to play the two knights because I'm bored of playing other openings. I've still got to face this crap. Like, I don't like this opening. Oh, uh... Yes, Strobix. Yes, I am a chess player in addition to Shogi. Uh, one could say that. That that would be a true statement. Um, that's certainly a way that sentiment could be expressed. Um, probably it could be said the other way around, too. That, like... I have been playing competitive chess for about 20 years and have won numerous titles and stuff. So I don't have an official U.S. Chess Federation title, but um, yeah, no, it's probably fair to say that I've done a little bit of chess. Um, yeah, my shogi is catching up to where my chess is at. Um, So, yeah, I've been doing tons of shogi lately. It's been tremendously relieving because chess has so many problems. And Kaufman attests to this, and I attest to this, and, like, everybody knows it. Um, all right, so here's the plan. Just go mate the king. And watch as opponent doesn't do anything about this threat. And then set up target number two right over there. And GG. Now we just have to go through the suffering phase of the game. Um, yeah, thankfully, Shogi is way more exciting than this, and there's dynamic possibilities throughout a Shogi game. But yeah, in chess, there often come to be positions where one player is just objectively worse, and there's nothing you can do to change that assessment, other than set up the pieces and start a new game. And such is like this position, where my opponent just walked into this, and is now going to have to suffer with the consequences of their earlier decisions for the next however many minutes this game continues being played. Of course, they'll assert that, oh, look, I took your bishop, and like now I have a bishop and you have two knights, or something like that. But this position is extremely not fun to play for white. Um, So, yeah, it's just a matter of me continuing to clamp down and win this. I will be upset if I lose this. I'm probably going to get upset.
Because, yeah, this bishop move was stupid. And my entire position comes undone because of that stupid bishop move. Uh, which he did not correctly take advantage of. All right, fine. Whatever. Um... Uh, I am a few rating points short of being a USCF expert. If I devoted half the time to opening study that I devote to software development for chess, I would be probably be a USCF master by now. But no, I am not a USCF expert. So yeah, my knight wants a better home. Um, Likely we're going to see this. Less likely he's going to do that. Now I'm f going to find a way to lose this and be all upset about it. Suddenly my opponent's realizing what's going on, if gradually. They have two and a half minutes left.
to tournament. Study your end games. All the close games in chess are decided in the end game. People play that opening every time, and, like, it's not the most exciting opening ever. I should play a different opening against him. I need to figure out what. Oh, yeah, Silman's endgame course, uh, endgame manual, is quite good. Um, so I'm just waiting on a pairing. I assume everybody else is in the middle of a game, else I'd get paired, so instead I get to watch Stefan play against uh, the number 7 pair, uh, ranked player here. Uh, yeah, this is rated. Why not? Um, Alright, let's have some fun. Uh, let's wing gambit it up. Because nobody studies this at my club. I'm playing it. I mean, maybe we do study it, but I think it's been a while. So, we're going to see some wing gambit. We're going to see me attempt to play theory, despite not really knowing it. Like, they might have all this other super deep stuff prepared for every other variation. But I doubt that they've studied this. Also, I'm just making this move up, but it looks interesting. Um... So I'm not sure this is where you want your bishop. Right, so they're intending to trap my bishop back here. Um, I'm debating what to do. I have options. For one thing, I could just win the rook. Which doesn't actually work, but the tactics are sufficiently sharp that I want to try it anyway. Um, so I kick your knight. I have to pick a square to put it on. Or you could attack my bishop. I think regardless, I'm going to escape my bishop to somewhere safe. Um, yeah, so I'm going to trade off my bishop now. Um, Okay, and we're just going to entomb this guy, who's just never going to see the light of day, ever. Meanwhile, I can play stuff like this. Okay, they attempt to get this guy out, um, but this is actually sharper than I think they think it is, and I still can do stuff like this. Yeah, everybody tries to get people out of their book. And then there's like people who will make an effort to study every book line ever to ensure that they can't be taken out of book. And like, it's just, 
this stupid theory contest that thankfully at least in shogi you can choose to play a little bit differently and not have to have this ridiculous opening memorization contest every single game yes yeah, some memorization is required but in chess it's just ridiculous the length some players will go to to memorize things and never learn so they might do this they might do that irrespective we've almost fallen in Karocon theory <sighs> and I'm considering maybe this like this is an idea yep so this guy's weak now uh, so there's my new target, which is like attack twice already. Um, all right, so let's try to open this up. Or rather, see if they can push once or twice and lock this in, or this in. Um, meanwhile, I also have like rook e2 covering this square. So, um, yeah, I still have some lasting initiative for the pawn I gave up earlier. And of course, when I either draw or lose or win this, Regardless of how this goes, the opponent's going to be like, Oh, well, I just didn't know this opening. If I'd just known this opening, like, I could have done better. And this is all too common in chess. And it's... Um, yeah, that's just the reality is it's all too common. Um, like, being forced to innovate is not something every chess player is accustomed to. Because there's just such... A tremendous body of theory out there already. Alright, so there's an idea. So they have this now. And things actually get complicated. Um, but they didn't see it. They didn't even look. It's unfortunate. Because uh, we could have had an interesting game. Uh, instead we have this. And now I'm hitting this, and this, and this. And, okay, yeah, there is some threat of striking there at some point. Um, but it's off in the distance. Alright, so that's a two attacky, as No Joke likes to call it. Um... So, unless I miss some stupid, stupid tactic somewhere, this is kind of reasonable. I'm still threatening to do that. I don't immediately need to do that, and even when I do it, it's going to be checked, so I can delay it a little bit. Um, yeah, nobody studies the end game. Like, if you watch uh, very high levels of chess, you'll see players mess up the end game all the time. Because endgames are super difficult in chess, but also uh, there's just too much to know. Um, so I have a choice, either this or that. They both look interesting, to be honest. Um, well, if I queen here, they push this pawn, and my queen moves, and I'm sad. Um... Yeah, no, it is that simple. Um, so I have to take here now. And look, this opens the line. This covers the square. Like, this is a beautiful position.
The other thing is chess players are typically playing with a clock that doesn't make very much sense. You can't think when you're in time pressure, and when you're playing online, you're always in time pressure. Um, and frequently you'll play with a clock that has no increment. So whoever has the faster mouse can just win. Um, I say as I am about to win on time. All right. Um, I mean, my position's pretty good too, but my time advantage is just crushing. That'll do that. We're two for two. But yeah, uh, in chess, if you know openings very well. You can get good positions and grind them down for the next 35 moves. And then screw up in time pressure. Um, if you don't know, then you just suffer the entire game. And no matter how creative you are, you can't get better than a draw much of the time. Now this is more true at slower time controls than at speed chess. Um, so we're going to attempt to transpose, and we do successfully transpose here to a queen pawn opening, which maybe my opponent is well versed in. Regardless, I think I know which opponent this is. So yeah, you defer this until now, and actually I think here I push this pawn, I think. I'm not totally sure. I think I stand slightly better, given how this is lined up. Not totally sure. Yeah, it's these sorts of marginal advantages or disadvantages that decide half points in a game based on early memorization. What I'd like to do is this, but I don't think I can get away with that. Wait, no, I've seen this before. How does this go? <sighs> I've seen this before. Well, I don't recall how this goes. Um, I'm going to take the bishop pair and hope that that's acceptable. But I think I missed my chance. So there's always next game. So if I just wait another 10 minutes, maybe I can have another chance at winning a game. But this, I think, is drawn.
I think I finally got paired with our club's strongest member. Um. Clever. I didn't see that. <sighs> this is a desperate bid for activity. I missed that move. Um, I think they missed that I have a move here. This is an excellent square for my knight. So this is like, in speed chess, players mess up quite a bit. Um, this is an example of that. All right, I think they also didn't expect me to go ahead and do this anyway. Um, it wins only a pawn, but a pawn is significant here. Because now I'm attacking more, multiple things. Um, shit. This is confusing. I could have messed up here. I'm not even sure. Um, I'm going to take my chances on this move. I was afraid of that. This is extremely complex. YOLO. Here we go. The only move he couldn't have possibly looked at. This is just too deep. I've trapped my knight, but perhaps it doesn't matter. I think it's still drawn, despite all these insane tactics.
Ah, uh, never mind. I found a way to lose. Or did I? Or did I? Wow. Alright, that'll do it. That wasn't even the player who I thought it was. Shit. Okay. Really? We're doing this. I forget how this goes. This is not a good time to forget. This is definitely not a good time for me to forget how this goes. Wait, no, this is fine. We get to bring out the fireworks this time. Wait, didn't I do this like two weeks ago? The same exact thing? Am I imagining this? Maybe I'm hallucinating. This looks strangely familiar. So my opponent is not castling. Wow, okay. That's a bold strategy. We can nix everything I said about chess being drawish. That's unbelievable. I don't even want my rook anymore. Like, if this is the sort of game we're playing, who needs rooks? Who needs pieces? This is like we're playing shogi. We have gone full shogi here. I should have taken the knight. That was my one chance, well, my first chance to take the knight. Um, now I don't want it.
I think I have to take it anyway. This will be fine somehow. This will all be fine somehow in the end. This is where things get complex. I hope this is 5 plus 1, not 5 plus 0. Or I'm just hosed.
Good game. I thought so. I thought so. The National Master wins every time, but he's a good player. Over the board, I've pulled some a couple swindles, but to date in these tournaments, he's won every single time because he's very resourceful and a good player and a very nice person. It's just uh, this is how speed chess goes. I don't have enough time to think. But also, I play dubious stuff because I don't know what I'm doing. At least in Shogi, when you roll the dice, there's at least a one in a thousand chance that things will go your way. Um, in chess, no matter how hard I throw those dice, I don't win. This is what makes them masters, is that they're very good. It's just a hopeless endeavor, unless you seriously commit a ridiculous amount of time. Like, the learning curve is way too steep for an amateur. My opponent gently reminds me that, like, this is the piece I have to deal with. So we deal with it. So I'm trying to balance between trying to win this center attack and having some remote chances of checkmating in the opening on this side of the board. Uh, which could only happen right now if my queen shows up here, my knight is there, and then my other knight takes on d4. So I need one extra move for this bishop trade, and then my knight here and knight takes. I'm one move behind that winning. Which um, is just not good enough. Right, right, right. So, um, oh, but now that I've played this pawn up, my bishop can come back and harass the queen. So I get to do this with tempo. All right, thanks for stopping by. So I control this square. Right, and so they play the obvious move, and now I get to hit the queen again. And now I get to hit the knight. And this pawn is mine. Um... This is confusing. So I control the square. And I'm going to come back and hit the queen. Meanwhile, this is loose. Okay, they've done something about that. 
Um, let's hit the queen this way instead. Maybe I have winning chances now. Well, thank you very much. That's silly. It's illogical. This is going to take some effort for them to find a counter chance. Very likely they're going to aim for this cheapo. Uh, as if they don't, I have my own threats. There's a target. There's this is not really a target, but this one is.
I wish I saw a checkmate here. That would simplify my life a bit. Um, There we go. That works. Mission accomplished. Uh, we got 25 minutes left. The tournament just never ends. But on the bright side, we all we continue getting pairings, so we can celebrate just how many games we can get played uh, within this. This is a one hour, 20 minute tournament. That's why it seems like it's going on forever. It's comparable to the length that we run at the chess club, but um, I'm just not accustomed to it online. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do it. Hopefully I'm doing this right. If not, we'll know soon. How the fuck does this go again? Oh, welcome. <laughs> yes, right. Sorry for the uh, call out there. I feel like I messed this up, but I'm okay. But it's still embarrassing. Thankfully, that call out only happens once. Um, once per person. I mean, queen f5 or queen... No, queen d8 looks no good. Queen h4 looks offsides. I don't believe it. If this is the plan, I don't understand it. I'm 
maybe this is the plan. But then I've got this. So, wait, no, I don't. It's not entirely clear. Um, okay. I mean, obviously, this isn't what I had planned, but, um, huh, maybe they're fine. Amazing. I don't want to play that because that complicates everything but um, simpler moves have no chance at advantage so here we go Well, I could stop castling if that happens. It's not all clouds. Um, but yeah, there's stuff that's troubling here. On the other hand, my develop is a, my development is better. This is the problem. Maybe we actually do get to play an endgame. Wouldn't that be intriguing? Um, well, so much for that thought. We are definitely not getting into an endgame. I'm going to lose my king well before the endgame happens. Or could have happened. Um, sometimes the simplest moves are best.
Oh, that was exciting. Oh, well, it's another really sharp game that actually disproves some of the things I was saying about theory. Although, if I'd known a little bit more theory, perhaps I could have fought a thousand times harder. Um, but yeah, I made him think, and his flag fell. So, that was a thing. Inevitably, we're going to get paired with Stefan again, and it's just going to be pain and suffering. But, um, until then, let's see who we get paired with next. Not everyone in my club plays this. Okay, let's transpose. I'm sick of this. Let's play something else. Okay, fine. We'll have it your way. What the fuck is this? We have swung deeply into Karo Khan theory. Um, except this isn't a Karo Khan, this is just me winning, I think. Like, I think rook g8 or king f8 or something has to be played to salvage this, and it's not pretty. Okay, I missed this. Maybe queen f6 salvages this. Maybe. Maybe not. You know something's wrong when I'm getting an opening attack. You know, like, chess has been broken. Um, when suddenly I'm not the one struggling. And despite all this, yeah, my opponent is still resourceful where I would fail to be so. Um,
And we've snowballed. Wow. I know I'm playing a strong player, and yet uh, this is completely snowballed. Like, way out of control. They are conceding a piece, if not more. They might get a counterattack, though, so I should be careful. Debating if they play here, which piece I take with. Oh, they concede. <sighs> Thanks. Yeah, that was sharp. That was exciting. Oh, my goodness. go. We're going to slav it up. And we've equalized. This is complicated. This is more than I bargained for. What? That doesn't make sense.
this was less than ideal. Um, I think we know which opponent this is. Pretty sure we know which club member I'm playing against. Based on the extremely high standard of play. Um, Much time's left in the event? 26 seconds. So I just need to hold out 26 seconds and try to be slightly honorable about doing it. Okay, the time has elapsed on the tournament, so we can concede at this point. Oh, but it doesn't count, so we win. Ah, good games, everyone. Yeah, sharp stuff. And yeah, I wasn't gonna give up my chance to like tie for first. <laughs> uh, okay. I would have felt bad, like, if that weren't a shared first place. Um, but on the other hand, like, he wins every week, so... Um, there's only so bad I can feel about that. Honestly, uh, he's pretty good. It's great to have a master playing with us every week.